en effet. Euh, en fait, Eva, on, 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 on essaie toujours de commencer à 9h. Oh, oh, professeur, oh, je suis là. Oh, je vais oh, aller. Okay, mais, mais il est là, du sens, quelque chose qui arrive. On lance le, on peut lancer le live. C'est bon. Oui. oui, voilà. Je crois que c'est une très bonne idée comme ça. Les, les doctorants ils ne vont pas. C'est le numéro 5 aujourd'hui, c'est ça. Euh... C'est le numéro 5, tout à fait. C'est l'atelier 5. C'est bon, on peut, dire un, un petit, euh, on peut dire un petit mot du coup au doctorant aussi Oui, oui, bien sûr, on est là, oui. Très bien. Alors, bonjour tout le monde, euh, chers professeurs, chers collègues et, et très chers doctorants aussi qui nous ont suivis depuis le premier atelier, durant toutes les, tout, 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 toute cette série d'ateliers. Euh, alors aujourd'hui, on arrive à l'atelier numéro 5 et l'atelier numéro 5 est dédié au gémeaux numérique. Donc, euh, c'est cette notion euh, assez particulière qui nous a beaucoup interpellé euh, nous-mêmes au tout début quand on a discuté avec M. Reklaoui qui, qui nous a dit bah, « le gémeau numérique », je lui ai dit « mais qu'est-ce que c'est ?» Donc, aujourd'hui, va... l'idée, elle est très, très intéressante et ô combien, euh, 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 surtout, surtout dans le contexte dans lequel nous, nous vivons, elle est, elle est judicieuse euh, parce qu'avoir un gémeau numérique, euh, c'est un réflexe que de plus en plus les universités auront euh, intérêt à, à, à mettre en place et, et, et donc c'est ce qu'on va découvrir aujourd'hui dans l'expérience de l'université de Vigo euh, donc on a avec nous déjà euh, madame Eva Garea euh, de l'université de Vigo et nous sommes en train d'attendre monsieur euh, Ancho euh, toujours de l'université de Vigo qui va nous rejoindre dans quelques minutes euh, on va juste profiter pour faire un petit point logistique euh, donc euh, à la fin du, 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 de l'atelier nous vous remercions de bien vouloir euh, euh, remplir les, les, les questionnaires d'évaluation le, le petit euh, questionnaire d'évaluation c'est très important euh, par atelier euh, parce que ça nous donne vraiment un retour qui nous permet de, 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 voilà, de corriger certaines choses sur les ateliers suivants et éventuellement sur tout ce qu'on va organiser par la suite. Mais euh, il sert euh, aussi comme confirmation de présence. Et voilà, et pour les doctorants, ça nous sert aussi euh, comme confirmation de, de, de présence euh, pour qu'on puisse par la suite vous envoyer les, les certificats de participation. Euh, pour les doctorants toujours, euh, sachez euh, qu'il y a un quiz à la fin de la formation. Nous allons vous envoyer un email par la suite. Et donc, euh, euh, l'objectif est vraiment de donner de la crédibilité à, à, aux ateliers et, et aux certificats donc, que nous allons vous donner par la suite. Donc, on a prévu un petit quiz. C'est rien de. C'est juste pour. Euh, euh, revenir sur les notions que nous jugeons intéressantes à, 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 retenir, euh, à retenir pour vous et pour votre carrière par la suite euh, en tant, inshallah, que professeur chercheur. Voilà, je n'ai rien oublié, Hatim. Euh, non. Non. <rire> Euh, donc, euh, voilà, encore une fois, merci euh, à vous tous de nous avoir suivis. Cet après-midi, nous, nous avons encore un atelier, c'est l'atelier numéro 6, euh, et qui va porter sur une autre expérience d'un autre projet Erasmus. Euh, ce sont les TP et les TD à distance. Euh, voilà, les, 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 les TP à distance, les TP virtuels et, et les TP à distance. Voilà, et, et, et donc ce sera cet après-midi un atelier qui est très très intéressant, qui va faire euh, le retour sur le, le projet Experes, mais aussi euh, donc Experes qui, qui est un projet qui est fini, euh, et puis un autre projet euh, qui est en cours, euh, eLives, euh, donc un, un, un retour qui est très très d'expérience, qui est très très intéressant. Aujourd'hui, c'est encore Marmouk, hein, c'est le retour sur Marmouk. Euh, donc, vous allez nous présenter tout d'abord un petit aperçu sur ce que c'est Marmouk. Et ensuite, euh, euh, nous allons attaquer euh, cette notion euh, de gémeau numérique que vous allez euh, partager avec nous aujourd'hui. La, la, la TFA, la TFA, la TFA, oui. oui. Mm -hmm. euh, tu, tu peux parler également de toutes les, les ressources que vous avez sur le site web. Tout à fait. Pour les doctorants. 
Tout à fait. N'oubliez pas que euh, les, les, les ateliers, donc, euh, par moment, on a les présentations et les documents à l'avance, mais tout est hébergé en temps réel. À chaque fois qu'on reçoit quelque chose des intervenants, on le loge sur notre page web ressources euh, qu'on va non, repartager avec vous euh, euh, sur, sur le, le, le converser ou sur les commentaires. Donc, euh, tout y est. C'est-à-dire que toutes les présentations euh, et les ressources, il n'y a pas que les présentations, il y a aussi d'autres ressources, à savoir des, des vidéos YouTube qui complètent bien l'atelier. Parfois, c'est des liens. C'est des liens qui, qui donnent sur des sites web, sur d'autres ressources, etc. Donc, c'est hétérogène. Vous allez trouver vraiment plusieurs choses euh, à, votre, euh, à votre destination pour compléter euh, les apports des ateliers. Euh, certains intervenants aussi vous ont, ont partagé avec nous euh, leurs emails pour, euh, pour les contacter euh, si vous avez d'autres questions particulières. Donc, voilà. Donc, euh, et la chose que nous allons faire aussi, et nous sommes dessus, c'est vraiment de récapituler, synthétiser euh, les, les échanges euh, qui sont très, très riches euh, dans les conversations. Et puis, toutes les questions auxquelles nous n'avons pas du tout apporté une réponse en direct, nous allons euh, les envoyer euh, aux intervenants pour qu'ils nous fassent un retour. Euh, et puis, on va loger ça encore une fois sur la partie, euh, sur le, notre page web euh, ressources. Voilà un peu. Et euh, ça va euh, se compléter au fur et à mesure. C'est-à-dire, euh, n'hésitez pas à visiter euh, le, le, le site web parce qu'on va ajouter des choses. Tout à fait, tout à fait. Donc, c'est vraiment, euh, on, va, on va les alimenter euh, même par la suite, euh, une semaine après ou quelques semaines après, parce que c'est un contenu aussi qui est censé euh, évoluer. Et n'oubliez pas que les vidéos sont toutes disponibles euh, via cette page-là ou directement sur notre chaîne YouTube euh, euh, Erasmus Plus pour le cours. Euh, Madame euh, Evagaria, peut-être euh, vous, vous présenter, vous, vous. ça serait une très bonne idée, en attendant M. Ancho. Oui. Et le professeur Ancho, il est, dans les, avec, il est connecté, mais il est sur la liste d'assistants. Il m'a demandé ah. si vous pouvez le mettre sur la liste des euh, panélistes. Euh, ah, Hatim, pourrais-tu lui envoyer encore une fois l'invitation conférencière Ok. Est-ce que c'est possible de lui demander de checker son, sa boîte spam Je ne sais pas, mais ah, généralement, oui, généralement c'est pas le cas, mais bon. Parce que il, il, il a, il a, tu, euh, tu peux pas lui changer le, le statut de, de, de voilà. oui, 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 ah, oui, oui. Facile, du coup. Voilà. Merci. Parce qu'il nous écoute depuis les débuts. Mais il est sur le coup ouais, de la j'étais étonné parce qu'il est toujours le premier. Si, Est-ce qu'il est ici Oui, oui je... il est dans la salle. Dans la... Il est dans la salle, il est connecté, mais sur le groupe des participants. Dis-lui de, 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 de faire quelque chose sur de euh, le, le, la main, le chat. De, de lever la main, voilà. C'est quoi son nom Anna, je, je le cherche avec toi, Hatsim. Professeur Ancho. Judy Kael, à la data C'est pas lui Peut-être, peut-être certainement. Peut-être qu'il qu qu travaille. Judy Kael. Je crois que c'est euh... lui. À la dame, à la date. Je ne sais pas. Entiendo. Judy. Este último, este último enlace que te envié no funciona. J'ai juste égolé le nom, mais je comme ça. Je quitte Judy Kael. Je crois que ça doit être lui. Mais aussi qu'est-ce comme assistante. Entiendo. Eh, un minuto. Eh, Monsieur Hatim, est-ce que vous pouvez changer professeur Anso d'assistant à panéliste ou c'est pas possible Oui, oui, oui je, je, peux, je peux changer. Je peux changer d'un. Mais il est connecté avec qui Non, parce que est-ce qu'il est dans le bureau je... mm -hmm. Est-ce que c'est est -ce est possible de lui demander de lever la main Comme oui, ça, Il a le... levé la main, je crois. Euh, je ne le vois pas. Je dis qu'il est. Non, est je dis qu'il est, non Ah, ça bien aussi, il a levé la main. Ah non, non, autant pour moi. Allô 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 Oui, bonjour. Oui, oui c'est moi, ah, je n'ai pas levé la main. Ah, d'accord, pardon, pardon, monsieur. Pardon, monsieur, on a cru que vous étiez monsieur Anchou. Ah non, désolé. Et on va arriver. 
y arriver. Il avait sorti pour pouvoir se connecter à nouveau. Il va arriver. Mm -hmm. Mais de toute façon, si vous voulez, je peux commencer à, à expliquer un peu le oui, projet oui, Marou. Oui, oui, et là, tu peux commencer. Merci. D'accord. Désolée pour ces petites questions de connexion avec notre professeur. Et bon, et premièrement, pour nous, c'est un grand plaisir d'avoir reçu cette invitation de la part de Neo Erasmus Plus Maroc et aussi de l'Université de la Mekesari en tant qu'organisateur avec l'équipe du projet Marmouk pour cet atelier sur le e-learning. Tout d'abord, j'aimerais informer à, à toutes les personnes qui vont nous, nous joindre pendant ce matin que pour nous, l'enseignement supérieur à distance et, et le e-learning, c'est vraiment important. Et avec la situation que nous, dont nous sommes tous à ce moment-là, avec la pandémie de COVID-19, le e-learning euh, est, 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 est en actualité. Euh, pour, pour vous exprimer un peu notre projet Marmouk, et le projet Marmouk euh, qui est coordonné par l'Université de Vigo avec la participation de, de l'Université du, du Maroc, et on a l'Université Abdelhamé Kessadi, l'Université internationale de Rabat, l'Université Iptofail, l'Université Ifton, l'Université Moula Ismaili, Ismail, et aussi l'université privée de Marrakech, c'est le consortium des universités du Maroc et sur les projets Marmouk, avec un groupe des universités en Europe. Euh, on a l'université de, de... Salut <rire> et on, Dans, dans tous nos, nos projets, c'est un partenariat des universités de l'Europe et de l'université du Maroc. Dans les universités de l'Europe, on a l'université de Vigo en tant que coordonnateur, l'Université de Léon en Espagne, l'Institut Royal de Technologie en Suède, l'Université de Vrije, Université de Brasel en Belgique, l'Université of Chemical Technology en Métallurgie en Bulgarie et en France, l'Université Pierre et Marie Curie. Tous ces groupes des universités, nous nous sommes joints pour mettre en place pendant trois années le projet Marmouk et pour développer plusieurs activités. En premier lieu, on a préparé un état de lieu analyse de l'existence en technologie d'information et de communication aux universités du Maroc. Vous pouvez voir les résultats de cette analyse dans notre page web, les projets Marmouk. Notre page web, c'est marmouk.com. Et dans la page web, la partie d'activité résultats, vous pouvez consulter ce rapport qu'on a préparé sur l'existence en technologie d'information et communication dans les universités de notre partenariat. Et dans le projet Marmouk, on a aussi préparé une campagne de sensibilisation autour des SPOOC et des, et des MOOC. Les MOOC, ce sont des cours ouverts et massifs, et les SPOOC sont des petits cours privés aussi en ligne. Mm -hmm. Et avec cette campagne, on a pré fait, préparé une caravane de MOOC. Et on a, et cette campagne, on l'a on fait dans toutes les universités du consortium. C'était pendant les mois d'avril et qu'on a préparé des présentations dans toutes les universités du Maroc et pour informer sur les MOOC. Qu'est-ce que sont les MOOC Comment on peut préparer des MOOC et des spoofs. Après, dans notre projet, une partie très importante, c'était de renforcer les capacités des enseignants et des techniciens. Euh, les universités de l'Oué, avec euh, nos bons partenaires du Maroc, on a préparé des cours spécifiques pour des enseignants et des techniciens afin de préparer des MOOC, des MOOC d'une façon euh, professionnelle, et, et pour que tout le monde puisse matricer les outils qui permettent de développer ce type de cours. On a fait plusieurs formations. On a fait des formations à l'Université de Vigo, aussi à l'Université Pierre et Marie Curie, maintenant à l'Université de Sorbonne, à Paris. Et des, des techniciens et des enseignants de, de, de la Mekesadi, 
des Iptophiles, des Bifons, des Privés de Marrakech, de Moulay Ismail, se sont formés avec nos équipes pour euh, apprendre euh, les, les outils pour développer des mots. Nous sommes en train, à ce moment-là, de mettre en place la plateforme mutualisée fédérative des MOOC, du projet MARMOOC, qui est bien développé. On a l'Université de la Mekesadi qui a déjà son plateforme de MOOC, l'Université Moula Ismail, et les autres sont en train de mettre tous les cours MOOC dans la plateforme à ce moment-là pour que dans quelques mois, les étudiants puissent accéder à ces MOOC ouverts. En plus, dans notre projet, on va préparer un référentiel pour la création d'un cours SPOOC et MOOC. On aimerait partager l'expérience qu'on a tous acquis pendant trois ans de travail avec les restes des universités au Maroc pour donner nos, 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 les exemples, les bonnes pratiques qu'on qu a appris pendant les périodes de trois ans pour développer et créer des MOOC. Finalement, comme dans tous les projets d'Erasmus+, et les projets Capacity Building, nous sommes en train de faire des activités de diffusion, comme l'atelier d'aujourd'hui, et aussi des activités pour la gestion des, des projets. Pourquoi cet atelier sur les e-learning euh, Aujourd'hui, on a avec nous le professeur Kamal de l'Université Abdelhamekesadi, et on a pensé que c'était vraiment important de, donner, de, donner, de faire connaître au reste des, des universités l'expérience qu'on a acquise pendant les dernières années à l'Université de Vigo, mais aussi pendant les derniers mois à cause de la pandémie. Et c'est pour ça que les coordonnateurs de notre projet, que c'est le professeur Anso Sanchez Bermude, va aujourd'hui vous offrir cette conférence sur les jumeaux numériques et les campus virtuels. Eh, professeur Ange, il a été vice-président de notre université de la nouvelle technologie pendant quelques années. Et maintenant, il est le responsable du, du projet Marmo. Je vais donner la parole au professeur Ange après cette présentation du projet Marmo. Eh, on aimerait, en tant qu'atelier, connaître, eh, avoir des questions, si vous, ou connaître votre doute, parce que nous sommes ici pour essayer d'offrir ce qu'on connaît. Et aussi sur la page du projet marmouk.com, vous savez toute les, 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 la liste des contacts des personnes qui, et, qui participent au projet. Et, non, et professeur Ancho, je, je vous donne la parole et merci à tous pour votre participation aujourd'hui et pour être ici. Merci, Diane. Mm -hmm. Hola. Voilà. Good morning, everybody. May I speak? Yes, 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 uh, Professor Rancho. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, one thing about this um, meeting. I have no uh, privileges to share my screen. I can do, I can send to uh, Hatim if... Uh, If you like, I can send the presentation and yes. you uh, show the presentation from your screen, or you may promote me to uh, privileges of sharing screen. Uh, you can share the screen, uh, Professor uh, Sanchez. I, I think you, you are already doing it. Okay, it's already. Okay. Is my screen showing? Mm, yes, we can. Yeah, we can see, I think. Okay. But, uh, yes. First of all, um, I, I, I can't see anything. I, I don't know for the, the others. Not yet. No, the same. Not yet, exactly. It, it's still loading. Yeah. Ah, okay, but it's sharing. Yes. yes. It is written somewhere, workshop. Workshops, yes. It... Uh, 
Or if you want, you can send me the presentation. I can show it if you have like some issues. Uh, raison, it will leave it a better, better idea. Or, um, Uh, yes, there is a problem that the 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 share it, it's not like we can see just like a part of of the screen, not the whole screen. Mm -hmm. um, if you want, you can stop sharing and start again, so we can see if if it's working. Okay. Otherwise, you can send me the presentation. Sharing stop. Yes. Or no, okay, I uh, I can stop it, okay. Me? Okay. Now, now can you try share the screen again with the presentation? Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> can you see it? Yes. Now yes. it's perfect. Okay. Thank you, guys. Starting a slideshow. Can you see the slideshow? Yeah, yes, no. we, we okay. can see the whole screen. Okay, let's begin. Uh, first of all, I I want to welcome everybody new. I hope you be healthy, and I hope you'll be living our confidence uh, problem. All the countries, I think. Uh, is about the same problem and I hope can you see face to face as soon as possible. And uh, now I'm going to uh, share with you our, uh, I think is a, a problem shared by the most uh, uh, university in Europe and in, in the rest of the world, that was the problem of confinement. We have a problem of confinement and uh, quite suddenly uh, nobody was prepared for that. Even that universities that had uh, online, uh, powerful online systems, uh, but the major problem was in the university and the, we, we have uh, uh, the face-to-face -face, uh, principal way of teaching. That is a worst case. First of all, I'm going to show you what about the figures in the University of Vigo. Uh, next slide is the location of the University of Vigo, northwest of Spain. We are a quite young university, quite little middle-sized university, and we have uh, three campuses. Uh, both of two of them. Pontevedra and Vigo are close, very close. That means uh, we don't need uh, we don't need uh, anything to to move between both campuses. But one of the campuses is uh, Ourense, is quite far from the university, from the central University of Vigo campus that is in Vigo, about 100 kilometers. That's why we began to use uh, mainly the video conference because we need uh, to avoid uh, a lot of displacements, a, a lot of movement uh, um, from teachers and, and students from one campus to another campus. That's why we began in 2003 to uh, use the conference and we have a quite uh, wide infrastructure about video conferencing and live streaming classes. I say, I remark live streaming because there are a lot of solutions, but not all are adequate to our needs. In our case, we are a public university. Public university means face-to-face -face or presential university. Our students are in our classes, in our faculties, and we only have the online solution uh, for uh, masters, some masters uh, shared with the Latin America countries, but it's a minimal expression of the whole uh, matters we uh, teach in, in 
the University of Beirut. Um, the, the figures are about, you see in this uh, slide, 22,000 students, 90,000 undergraduate, 2,000 master. Uh, well, I apologize, a apologize, Professor, but we cannot see the slide you are working on right now with the figures. The only slide we can see is Uvigo, uh, you know, uh, Campus Remoto Pilot Experiences. And if I'm you can, changing the slides, can yeah, you see? Yeah, the thing that we cannot see the slide changing. Uh, okay, I'm trying another thing. Yeah. And if you can make the, the screen more bigger. Okay. There's no problem. Uh, we go this way. Now, now yes, now we can okay. see. This way, yes. no, there's no problem. Perfect, thank you, Professor. Maybe the full screen or anything. I, I don't know a lot about Zoom. Uh, we use only uh, BBB. I don't know if you know BBB. I think uh, yesterday, uh, Frederick talk about BBB because he's a, a great fan of BBB, Big Blue Button, uh, because it's open source and it's free and it's uh, easily implemented and it's HTML5 and so on. I hope uh, Frederick told you us about uh, the BBB. Yes. Uh, professor, if you can go to view and uh, display on a big screen, it, okay. it will be good. There is a view there uh, on the upper me menu but in the view in the, there is view next to the to edit and insert i am in the, the the in my computer i have the whole screen the full okay screen. Uh, because we cannot see the, the full screen we see the full we see the screen of the presentation and uh, next we can see the the other slides if you can go just to view and display it on a big screen. View in the presentation in, 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 in the upper menu where there is file, edit, view, insert, format, slide, slideshow. It's in the up. Yeah, but, but uh, you don't have uh, the... Okay, I'll try. Voilà. Uh, always. Is the same. Um, no, you, you. Do you see this? Uh, on it, the top on your left. Exactly on, on the top menu where you have clicked right now, just right now, the slideshow. Yeah, but, but, next to the slideshow, there is slide format, insert, and view. Yes, go to slide. No, no, no. I, I, I don't have um, Excel uh, PowerPoint. Ah, the I'm not with PowerPoint. Okay. 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 It's it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Do, Thank do you, you know Professor. Change slide manually, full screen. I see. Okay, I'll try. And now. It, it's it's okay, Professor. We can go ahead. It's okay, and we apologize for interrupting your session. No, no, there's no problem. I, I uh, if you like, I send you the presentation in PDF. Sure. Okay. Sure, sure, please. Maybe yeah. possible. I make the PDF presentation. One moment. Uh, maybe PDF presentation. And now it's it's still the same, but as I said, Professor, no, no, you, uh, you must to share the, the, the PDF, not this one. In Zoom, it's you okay. change it, you change the sharing. My computer is full screen. No, 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 no. My you, you, PDF is full screen. But you you must to share another another time. You share the the PDF uh, file, not this one. But it's okay. We can see the the slides. They are they are visible. A question: Are you watching my screen or not? Yes. 
We, yes. we do. Okay. We do. And do you watch this PDF? No, no. We. You must to share the PDF. It's. You must to share the PDF with. Oh, Zoom. it's okay. The the um, share in the Zoom. Just you mean. Sharing PDF in Zoom. Okay. I try share the PDF in, in Zoom. I don't have the possibility to share the PDF in Zoom, I think. I don't have that option. Perhaps, uh, Hatim, if I send you the PDF. Professor Anshu, uh, you, you could just continue because I think that uh, we could see your slides. It's just perfect, so it's okay. Go ahead. Okay. It's, it, it's all right, thank you. Th thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Um, can you see now? Perfect, yes. Okay, well, and uh, the figures, we were with the figures. The figures are uh, this. Um, three campuses, 29 faculties, 47 departments, 34 undergraduate programs, 81 master programs, 44 PhD programs. I, I, I think this is a quantity, an important quantity of uh, campuses, faculties, departments, and research group to uh, uh, don't think about uh, a digital twin. No? But I'll, I'll show that the digital twin is a possibility more suitable than most of people thought before the confinement. Um, we have another type of centers, but the figures, important figures are 29 faculties, 47 departments, 20, 260 research groups, and a lot of undergraduate programs and a lot of master programs. Okay, the next. Uh, our problem, the situation before the confinement was not the, uh, the infrastructure. We, we had since uh, years ago in the European University, the most important thing was the uh, Bologna, uh, the Bologna project, uh, because most of the European University did adequate uh, his infrastructure to Bologna program and uh, studying uh, syllabus and faculties and laboratories and so on. Uh, and we have we have the quite uh, good infrastructure. In, the, in this case, this is a, an example of our infrastructure. Uh, we have a quite good bandwidth, but only uh, between the university faculties and with other faculties and with other universities we in, in, in all over Spain. But we have a quite good, mainly 10 gigabytes and one gigabyte uh, bonds to another Spanish university and European university. The bandwidth was not a problem since now. Perhaps we are uh, thinking about uh, reinforcement about the bandwidth, but of that is in charge the Spanish government. Spanish government have, uh, have some plans to reinforce the network infrastructure of uh, Spanish universities is not by us. Okay, the Bologna process uh, ends in 210 and we have a quite good infrastructure, quite good quality assessment, quite good regulated the grades, uh, graduates and uh, master programs. And we have finished the uh, quality assessment and evaluation since 210. That means that we have, uh, for example, the teaching guides for all 
matters, the teaching of teaching guides, uh, quality assessment, and so on for more uh, for all the uh, graduates and master programs and doctorate programs and so on. It's uh, all of them are quite uh, structured, are quite evaluated, are all uh, figured in uh, ECTS, European Credit Transfer System, and uh, that uh, work uh, permitted us to easily and rapidly change, for example, the um, the uh, teaching guides in order to adequate the teaching guides to the online situation. That was not a problem. Uh, the teaching guides were uh, changed, for example, about the uh, evaluation of students, because the evaluation of students is regulated on the teaching guides. I don't, don't know if you understand the, the word teaching guide, because it's a translation of the Spanish, the teaching guide, the teaching guide is a kind of syllabus, a powerful syllabus that contains not only the matters, the descriptions, but the credits, but the hourly, weekly, and monthly distribution of all the matters and items, and the evaluations and the competences. Okay, it's a. Uh, um, Vitaminated uh, mm, syllabus. Okay. Uh, uh, by the way, if you have any question, you can interrupt me any any moment you want. I can answer any uh, uh, any question you have about these things. Perhaps I am talking. Uh, supposing you understand the European Credit Transfer System or so on. If you don't. Please interrupt me. Don't hesitate to interrupt me. Okay. Uh, this is about our um, learning technologies uh, in the, at the University of Vigo. We began 2003 for the learning content management system. We had a Caroline and Moodle platforms video conferencing uh, with uh, open, uh, sorry, um, uh, the access grid technology and later the open cast Matterhorn technology with the conferencing audio classes, uh, they are dismissed. Please, please uh, Professor uh, Joe, yeah. we, we, we don't see the, the, the next, uh, the next uh, slide. We just see the, the, the first one. And now? No, the just uh, we see w just one uh, one slide. I don't know uh, uh, which is the, the problem. At the beginning, we say only one slide. I don't know which is the problem. Perhaps my computer, my Zoom client. Uh, yeah, we are uh, stuck on the fourth slide. Yeah, I don't know which is the problem. The Did you see the fourth slide? Yeah. Uh, the, the the question, Professor, do you like move uh, to other slides or like in your presentation, are you still on the slide, the same slide of three campuses, 29 faculties and 47 departments? Yeah, but, but I don't know why. I in okay. uh, 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 You must share the PDF. In this yeah, moment, I'm sharing the PDF. No, but we, we don't see uh, the PDF. We see the first uh, presentation. Not the PDF. You must share the PDF with Zoom. Please, Hatim, uh, help uh, Professor. Uh, yes, uh, Professor, if you can, if you can, like sh um, send the presentation to Mr. Reclavi yeah, so I can share it. But I don't have the possibility to share a file. I only have the possibility to share but, a screen. Please send me the presentation with okay. the mail. That should be good. Yes.
Okay, um, I'm sending. What mail may I send? Uh, you, you might send to, to Eva and then Mrs. Eva can send to Mr. Reclawi and he can send me after that. Or I can send you okay, into the chat Mr. Email. Reclawi, no? Eva, te lo mando a ti, se lo mandas. I will send you my email in the chat. There you go. If you can see the chat, you will have my email. Okay. Send. Nous excusons de cet aléa informatique. Et je viens de partager avec tous nos participants euh, sur le chat. Vous pouvez voir une présentation sur les campus remotes de notre université qui est en ouvert. Merci. La présentation du professeur Anche. Parfait, merci. Monsieur Hatim, je ne sais pas si vous avez reçu la présentation du professeur Anche pour qu'on puisse continuer. Yes, I have just received it, so I will share it. Okay. Okay. It's, it's a PDF. Okay. Yeah. D'accord. En ce moment-là, on a 268 participants. Alors, euh, merci beaucoup à tous pour être aujourd'hui ici et pour euh, savoir plus de notre campus virtuel et les démos numériques. Okay. Now I can share the screen. It's the microphone. Okay. okay. So now you can see the screen, right? Okay. That's better. Yes. Okay. Okay. Can we move to the next or next? Okay. No? Situation before confinement. This is a, this okay. is a good uh, way. Situation uh, before confinement. We have uh, campus, we have uh, infrastructure, 
if you see the next is the network infrastructure uh we have worked about um, 10 or 12 years increasing the infrastructure we have no problem of bandwidth we have no problem uh, with um, bonds and, uh, that's fever with the communication with another European universities and uh, among uh, Spanish universities. Uh, that was not a problem, uh, first of all. Second, uh, please next. The next uh, is the Bologna process um, obliged us to conclude with the standard uh, regulations about degrees and masters, meaning there are um, uh, quality agencies of uh, quality assessment and evaluation agencies, all the degrees and master and uh, doctorate uh, studies in uh, European University are regulated under the same process uh, the European Credit Transfer System, meaning that all the matters and the degrees and the master have the same uh, quality assessment uh, modes, teaching guides, uh, credit structures, competencies oriented teaching, and so on. That means that um, the change from a face-to-face -face, uh, teaching to uh, online teaching is not very difficult uh, from the point of view of uh, studies uh, regulations because we have uh, in the teaching guides of all matters the way of evaluating the, the evaluation of uh, students, evaluating exams, evaluating practices, the uh, time distribution, the number, the schedule, gender, calendar, and so on. So it was not very difficult to change the, for example, the requirements of face-to-face uh, -face exams to online exams. Another thing, different thing, is the how uh, can we guarantee that an uh, online exam is the student really and not need another person instead of the student evaluating. That's another problem. But uh, in theory, in the regulations and degree and the teaching guides, the way of evaluation is easily to change from uh, not online to online uh, way. I mean, next please. Uh, okay, we have uh, two uh, another Things. This is an historic abolition of our uh, digital campus. We, uh, since uh, 2010, 2010, we have our online campus, a digital campus, what, uh, which uh, contains all of the use, uh, the useful uh, technologies, learning management contents. We have a two is a special characteristic of our university, and that was the main problem when we uh, move from face-to-face -face teaching to online teaching, that was, we have two platforms, Moodle and Claroline. Uh, Claroline is uh, older than Moodle, is uh, uh, easily to use platform learning content management system, but not uh, very powerful like Moodle or uh, Canvas or any other, okay. We have a video conferencing system, video conferencing rooms to send uh, mainly master studies from uh, one campus to another campus and from uh, master studies shared with another universities in the world or in Galicia or in Spain. We have a few of them shared with another universities and we use since uh, many years. And most of our teachers, at least the master teachers uh, did uh, know how to use the video conferencing classes at room video conferencing classes, not at home, but at least at room. 
audio classes, the web TV, the iTunes, the YouTube, and the OpenCast are another technology we use. Some uh, teachers use uh, uh, briefly. Uh, and the Campus of Digital Domar, the Digital Campus Domar, the Campus Domar is the, the C campus, is our, our leitmotiv at the University of Vigo. And we have a digital campus uh, that contains all of these kind of technologies and links between them, even MOOCs and edX platform. Uh, that means we have uh, a lot of technologies uh, from different uh, periods and different um, versions and different uh, powerful technologies, uh, but uh, we use all, all of them before combining. Next, please. Uh, the, the main uh, the working system uh, is uh, uh, the, the representation uh, lack to to names in the center is the the Pumukit. Pumukit is a software. Some of you know the software of Pumukit should be um, the word Pumukit inside the middle uh, gear. And uh, Pumukit uh, is a publication and multimedia distribution software made at the University of Vigo since a lot of years, and is able to uh, translate a master copy of any kind of learning content and distribute automatically according to the design of the teacher who generates the learning content to another uh, learning content platform. For, him, for example, if I made a video, a learning pill, a screencast or so, and I want it, it, is, uh, it should appear in YouTube Edu or Uvigo TV or in the Moodle platform of the University of Vigo or in the Clarline platform of the University of Vigo or in the learning portal, FITIC of the University of Vigo or so on, I say to Pumukit, this yes, this yes, this yes, this yes, and Pumukit uh, is able to prepare the multimedia content mainly uh, to any kind of uh, desired format and publicate it directly in the uh, hosting platform. For example, send automatically the video to YouTube Edu, metadata it, and uh, with the authoring and with authorization contents that me, the teacher who generate that content said. Okay, next please. Uh, the main uh, support for our teacher is the FITIC, the learning platforms. I think it's the same in the, all, the, all the world. Uh, but we have, instead of uh, have uh, one only teaching platform, for example, Moodle, we have a, a learning portal or um, a learning management content portal that supports and is before the uh, learning platforms. We use uh, two learning platforms, Claroline and Moodle. Uh, but uh, most of teachers keep using Claroline and not Moodle. And that was one of the biggest problems we have when we get online because because most of teachers didn't use Moodle and have the no capabilities of learning Moodle so fast. And we have a problem because uh, the major problem of Claroline platform is the capability of grading. The exams, questionnaires and uh, uh, evaluation technologies, including in Claroline, are very poor compared with the Moodle capabilities. That's why we could not use Claroline to uh, evaluate the, the students. Meaning we have to say to teachers, they need to migrate 
to Clar to Moodle from Clarland. That was a problem. Uh, anyway, this is the portal of IT uh, that one teacher um, sign in and uh, moves along all the matters, all the, um, the courses. And if we move to the next uh, slide, we can see how is the structure today. Next slide, please. Uh, this is the structure of oh, IT is now a, a big portal that contains not only the graduate uh, or the degree matters, but the master matters, but the two learning platforms, Clarline and Moodle, and uh, is able to present the, the mobile phones front uh, uh, is responsive and uh, had another learning platforms like the Curso Zero, the uh, Zero course to students that come from the secondary to the university and uh, platforms to teach administrative processes and uh, even uh, languages and so on. Uh, student curricula uh, is able to print to the reprography services directly uh, from the uh, teacher uh, contents and so on. Uh, this is a quite, um, a quite uh, it's a nice infrastructure, but it's very difficult to migrate it. We have uh, quite uh, old, this, is, uh, this is structure is quite old because the, the learning management system is quite old, it's a Joomla, and it's uh, so big and has so many uh, facilities that is very different, very difficult to migrate this to another more modern system. Uh, that was a problem. Uh, next, please. I say you want to interrupt, you interrupt uh, whenever you want. Uh, we cannot see the, the graphics. I don't know why, the yellow lines, but uh, I say the figures are um, since uh, 2010, we have all the matters at the University of Vigo, about 4,500 matters uh, in FITIC since uh, 2012. It is uh, now the, the cover of uh, online platforms are 100% are mandatory. All the teachers have to have his uh, Moodle or Claroline uh, matters and uh, the system is loaded automatically at the beginning of the course with the teachers involving in each matter with the students involved in the enrollment system automatically fits the fits the the Moodle and Claro line and so well. Uh, so from a, a lot of years we use it this like the principal relation among teachers and and students and students uh, were very used to feel fighting as his home uh, university uh, online. Okay, but next, please. Next, next. There are figures. Uh, you can uh, send the PDF to anyone who wants. Uh, this is one problem. Please stop here. This is one of the biggest problems we found when uh, had to migrate uh, from the online to from the face to face to online it was the well as you can see now can you see the figures of um, uh, this is the problem since uh, 2000 and few most of teachers use it clar online and not moodle why uh, because uh, the clar online is uh, Quite simple, the Moodle is uh, more easy to use and is uh, enough for most of the face-to-face -face, uh, teaching processes. 
the relationship between students and teachers is enough for that kind of relationship. Caroline, but has now the powerful of Moodle platform. That's why most of teachers only use Claroline. But the major problem of Claroline, as I said, is, is not able, is not a very good tool to the evaluation, to the grading of the students. That means that we have a problem, is that most of teachers didn't use Moodle. And we have a problem because when we went online and we, were, we began to teach online, we have in the next future, the evaluation. The evaluation in Spain is about uh, the middle May to middle June. So uh, the, if you um, show the next, please, we can make a photography of the confinement. Uh, next, please. It's not, not a uh, Okay, this is a result of the Pumukit. Uh, uh, we were talking about, please next. We are going to talk about the, these are uh, all the uh, technologies. For example, in this slide, uh, what can we comment? Comment that uh, today a day we can use any any source of video and uh, through Pumukit convert it in uh, any other kind of uh, feed for any other kind of system of video. For example, we use a lot the Matterhorn uh, processor. The Matterhorn processor was involved in the Marmook project but uh, not necessarily finish at the same time. The Matterhorn processor is able to take a video with a presentation of a teacher. Uh, we record the presentation and the teacher separately and is able to detect the change of the slides, is able to slide capture, is able to detect QR codes and is able to OCR recognition, is able to even now we are working on the uh, translation of the voice and of the subtitles. And we can do this with any kind of video source recorded at the University of Vigo. Even cameras, even screencasters, even screen capturers also on. Please next. And we can do even now we are able to capture uh, live. And uh, for example, a conference and all of things uh, about video contents we uh, capture at the University of Vigo uh, are processed by Pumukit and distributed in uh, any uh, platform we need. Uh, of course, under the authorization of the author. This, this is mandatory. Next, please. The word. Uh, for information, the word OER is Open Education uh, Resources. Uh, that is uh, the, the whole uh, scheme of the university, Pumukit. Pumukit means publication multimedia kit. It's open source, it's, it's available, and some of the Moroccan universities have it. Um, uh, the Pumukit um, uh, uses a, um, a core, uh, the, the trans, transcoding of videos. Please, uh, and uses pro, please Professor uh, Adjo. Uh, uh, bonjour tout le monde. Uh, avant que le Professeur Adjo termine sa présentation, Je voudrais vous faire une un synthèse de ce qu'on a vu jusqu'à maintenant, parce que j'ai vu dans les commentaires qu'il y a des collègues avec nous euh, qui n'ont pas, pas une formation technique. Alors, euh, le professeur Sanchez partage avec nous l'expérience de la virtualisation de l'université. Et je trouve que le titre qu'il a choisi, il est très, très intéressant, c'est-à-dire qu'ils ont un jumeau numérique de leur université de Vigo, 
Et la partie qui nous explique maintenant, il est très, très intéressante parce que moi-même, j'ai déjà visité les infrastructures de l'Université de Vigo. Donc, il nous explique comment ils font la captation des vidéos à partir, de, à partir des classes et également comment ils ont mis en place dans leur, au sein de leur université un sort de YouTube universitaire qui n'est pas le YouTube qu'on connaît, mais c'est un sort de YouTube. Et euh, cette solution, il est très, très intéressante pour nous, les Marocains. Pourquoi Parce que si on arrive à héberger nos vidéos au sein de nos universités, euh, les étudiants ils vont pouvoir suivre les cours sans payer la connexion. La deuxième chose qu'il a, il a parlé, il a parlé tout à l'heure du, des vidéos. Donc, à l'intérieur du vidéo, ils peuvent annoter les vidéos avec des commentaires, avec, euh, avec des tests, c'est-à-dire euh, au sein du même vidéo, pour passer d'une séquence à une autre, on peut, fa on peut faire passer les étudiants des tests. Voilà, je pense que j'ai récapitulé. Euh, L'université de Vigo, comme vous l'avez vu au début, il est éclaté sur euh, plusieurs, euh, plusieurs campus. Donc, euh, ils ont un campus moderne euh, dans lequel ils ont cette infrastructure. Voilà, je vous remercie. Et, euh, Ok. Mm -hmm. Continue. Ok, okay. please okay. next. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. This uh, we have no problem. We have uh, infrastructures. By the way, the Moroccan universities are uh, installing these infrastructures to recording, processing, and so on through the Marmouk project. The principal objective of the Marmouk project is to uh, support the um, hardware and software to do the same that we, we do uh, with uh, the Moroccan technicians and with the Moroccan teachers. Is the, the same, is to try to be the same that we can do. So uh, this was not a problem for us. We had no a problem with uh, technology knowledge or with a capability of bandwidth or capability of uh, recording videos to send the classes, recorded classes to the students and so on. But uh, now begins the confinement. Uh, what happens? What is the difference when we began the confinement? Please, next. Uh, wait, we began the confinement uh, a few weeks since the, the second semester began, the second semester began uh, here at the January the 27th, that is uh, meaning February. And the confinement begins the uh, March 15, six weeks later. We only had six weeks of face-to-face -face classes and the rest was uh, confined. The rest of classes were confined. Uh, in that moment, uh, in Spain, we uh, we we hear rumors the week before, before the the confinement officially start. Uh, one week before, we heard that the, it's possible we to be confined in one week, and that was true. So we began uh, immediately, uh, we began uh, pilot experiences. Uh, so we use a few teachers, uh, uh, some active teachers using on, uh, online uh, experiences and uh, began to, uh, to try three systems in three pilot experience. One was the Adobe Connect. I'm uh, uh, the Adobe Connect was the conference system at the University of Vigo uh, in the campus do Mar. It's a proprietary software uh, from Adobe. Adobe is uh, quite uh, expensive and it's not very simple to use and needs 
Adobe Flash, Adobe Flash uh, that this is inconvenient today. Uh, the other software we had is the Microsoft Teams to uh, agreement with Microsoft to use the Microsoft Office and so on, but it's quite expensive, about 70,000 euros a year. And uh, let's say the Microsoft Teams uh, facility is uh, quite uh, a collateral uh, service from Microsoft. It was not thought to be a principal service. The principal service that the Euro European universities buy from Microsoft are the Word, the Excel, and so on. Well, okay. And the, the third option was the BBB that was made by volunteers, mainly the uh, Vicente Goyanes, who some of you know, and me and another teachers at the University of Vigo, using the experiences from uh, previous European uh, projects, like uh, the Up to You, uh, the Vicente Goyanes uh, enterprise, the name is Teltec, and uh, the ideas of Frederick, we use the ideas of Freddy who convinced us to use the BBB because the new version of BBB is HTML5, which made it very useful because of you don't need a uh, particular client. You, don't, you can do everything through the, through the web and so on. Uh, the principal requisites we used in the, or, or we put to this uh, pilot experiences were first lecture recording because um, the staff, university staff, was one of the principal conditions. I we are not uh, very sure why, but uh, the the staff of the university, all the classes should be recorded, uh, and the second is the. Uh, video surveillance grading uh, because we were thinking that probably the exams should be online too. Then th those were the, the principal uh, requirements. Uh, we have a problem. The main problem is we have a good bandwidth. We have a, a quite technologies, useful technologies, but we have no, we are not prepared to host so many uh, from, from 50 or 100 uh, video, uh, sorry, uh, graduates uh, matters online a year to 4,500, which is the, the face to face matters a year. And we are not uh, prepared to that. We have no servers enough, we have no disk storage to do that, and we probably had a bandwidth that could not support that. Uh, so another requisite we put to the system was, should be docker-isable, virtually disabled is the same. And in, in our case, we choose for via docker, and um, should be possible to create virtual machines uh, that could replicate easily in a hosting service. So we only uh, want to rent hosting of virtual machines, not hosting of software, only the machine. Why? Because it's very much cheap. It's cheaper to host the virtual machine than to host the, uh, the software. For example, uh, we, we, we had uh, with um, Adobe Connect 25 rooms. The price to pass from 25 rooms to 100 rooms, 100 rooms is uh, a poor figure to, to migrate online all the matters uh, was about 10,000 10, euros a month. It was a, a impossible figure for us. So we began this experience and next, uh, please next um, uh, 
uh, the results of the experience of uh, teachers. Microsoft Teams uh, didn't like. I, 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 people didn't like Microsoft Teams because uh, it's a, as a teacher said in the service, it's a very centered uh, on teamwork and not uh, not in teaching, uh, not very easy to use, uh, and uh, had the erratic complementary tools. For example, the blackboard and it, it, it wasn't was not not work fine. Uh, it's very connected to Microsoft OneDrive. Most of teachers use it Dropbox or another uh, online storage system. Quite slow, and most uh, teachers have a bad feeling. Yeah. We consulted the service, and that is uh, in, in short what the teacher said. Adobe Connect uh, saturated the second day of the uh, uh, intensive use. And th th that was not the problem. The problem is the furthermore, the Adobe Connect was saturated. We use the Netherlands server. Uh, they deny services. You connect it to Adobe Connect, and they say, we have no rooms available at this now but you keep paying. And the scalability uh, was too expensive. It was impossible, as I said, uh, a, a number of uh, suitable rooms from an old connect with a reasonable price. Well, so again, and as the philosophy of the University of Vigo is, let's try the open source and free software. Use BBB was a good experience for, for our, uh, teachers. Full HTML5, that means you can use only the as Zoom in a web page. You don't need any specific client. It has a low traffic generation, about 50 megas per video streaming, which is very short because it's the, optim the optimization of the HTML5. Easily Docker-disabled and virtually disabled. It's open source, free soft, but uh, we have uh, not in that moment, only if you use the, the, the BBB server, you have uh, not guaranteed to record the classes. Okay, that was the, the pilot experiences. Next. And uh, talking to the staff, the the, and through the online forums and so on, the staff uh, initiated the online discussions and online teachers and students and, and uh, IT crowd forums. Uh, uh, the proposal that uh, experimented the most uh, affections was the, the use of the design of a digital twin. What is a digital twin? A digital twin, uh, well, no, the, the definition is in the next uh, slide, but basically, in, uh, okay, no, 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 it's not necessary. No, 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 not necessary, no. Okay, uh, please, before. Uh, digital twin uh, means that uh, if one student is uh, used to go to a one classroom, to uh, hear one professor or to attend uh, one lecture, uh, why are we to change that? If we are online, the same classroom is the same classroom online. The same faculty is the same faculty online. The same seminar is the same seminar online. Uh, the tutorials, tutorials are in the same room as the teacher room, but and so on. The administration uh, staff so uh, claimed for uh, administration rules were to uh, hear the teachers, the researchers, and so on. And uh, that seems to be the most suitable uh, thing. We, but it was very difficult to, to begin. Uh, some teachers need teachers 
teaching rooms, research rooms. Uh, we began to make video tutorials to the use of BBB. Uh, uh, immediately we see the necessity of a wide storage system and uh, Dropbox was too expensive. Again, we have uh, the, an agreement with the Google, but uh, we are not uh, sure, we were not sure that Google should not uh, try to, to reserve a price for uh, if we use it massively the Google Drive and uh, the principal question was, if we have a Pumo kit system that takes a video and make that video available in, any, in a lot of ways to our students, why can we not use the same thing, the same paradigm, the video recorded for any of online class, any of, uh, teacher uh, lecturing online uh, should be available in the same way to Pumuki. And that's why uh, we began the Campus Remoto, is the name of, we named a, novel, a new name, Campus Remoto, Remote Campus, uh, and we begin to construct the Campus Remoto. Uh, as you were using again, Campus Remoto, uh, we began to experiment needs. For example, most of teachers said, and can I have uh, my personal model in campus remoto? And can I have uh, my recordings publicated in Moodle? And so on. Uh, we tried to, uh, to reach most of uh, necessities, but not all. But we have now, our, uh, now we have a good uh, system that is Campo Remoto and uh, the experience is very well, um, is very well punctuated, is very well uh, in the service. Some uh, Spanish university are now replicating the Campus Remoto idea. The idea is the digital twin, uh, even using the same technology. Next, please. Well, uh, the facts uh, were that students needed more learning contents because there was online, not face-to-face. -face. Need tutoring, great claim for tutoring uh, because they felt alone themselves. Uh, need to feel uh, supported by teachers during confinement. And in so many cases, less cases than we thought, uh, only in 200 cases, they had uh, problems to connect, the problems of bandwidth or problems of internet connections. Uh, about 20, 2,000 students, only 200 cases, the staff uh, made a survey and uh, only 200 cases declared they had problems to connect to the internet to recite classes. That was a surprisingly good news. Uh, teachers, uh, the problem found by the teachers uh, was the Claroline platform was not suitable for grading. If they had to examine it, to evaluate the students at the end of the semester. Online, the problem was clear. Uh, at the same time, most of teachers, about 90% of teachers didn't use Moodle, only clear one. And, and the, they was very worried about the exams. Because, because of that, they don't control Moodle and they are, uh, are, um, are conscious that uh, Claroline is not very good to the evaluation of students. And some of teachers declare a fear of online technologies. Well, 
the uh, for the another side the IT crowd uh, uh, were worried about everything worried about too much work worried about the servers worried about the security worried about the denied of service uh, basically for their shame not for our shame not for able to start our hosting and the principal word from the IT crowd we recite this was no no uh, the staff the university staff uh, had the problem that the instructions from the government the Spanish government and the local authorities uh, were quite erratic uh, the but there were an instruction of the mandatory online teaching and worried about the same so the major problem is, is the ablation of students if the confinement uh, was too prolonged and discovered the teacher uh, had bad training on learning technologies uh, uh, I, I think i'm sure that the staff uh, thought that the teachers uh, had a better uh, IT culture than the reality show. Huh? It was a terrifying situation. Next, please. Uh, par uh, pardon, pardon. Uh, okay. Uh, but tout d'abord, uh, uh, Je voudrais m'adresser aux collègues qui nous suivent en ce moment. On est conscient que, 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 que l'exposé que, que notre que cher professeur Ancho est en train de partager est un plus compliqué. Il, a, il est plein de termes techniques. Euh, néanmoins, euh, la réflexion de cette formation... On a pensé qu'on doit commencer par, par euh, la pédagogie, passer aux travaux dirigés, vous avez suivi les, les ressources ouvertes, euh, les droits d'auteur, etc. Euh, le professeur Rancho, il partage avec nous, comme je viens de le dire tout à l'heure, leur expérience, mais en plus de ça, c'était voulu, c'était, chers collègues, c'est une façon de vous familiariser avec, euh, avec des termes, on n'est pas là, nous, on est, comme professeurs, on n'est pas obligé d'être des spécialistes, mais on, on doit être des généralistes. On doit comprendre comme ça pour avoir un langage, pour pouvoir discuter avec les techniciens de, 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 de IT pour, pour comprendre un peu nos besoins. Voilà, c'est l'intérêt. Et euh, après, à la fin, je vais faire un résumé des, des aspects techniques. Euh, je, euh, tout à l'heure, j'ai vu une question qui se répète comme quoi, pourquoi les vidéos gratuites. Je vais répondre à la fin. Et merci. OK. Uh, yes. OK. OK. Well, one of the um, important questions to solve uh, was for us, so, the, what kind of uh, learning uh, will we use during the confinement? Um, synchronous distance learning or asynchronous distance learning. According to the paradigm of uh, distance learning, uh, synchronous means uh, that the teacher is online and live with the students. Asynchronous is the teacher records some contents and let the students uh, see the contents anyway and anytime. Well, uh, According to the paradigm of the digital twin, we decided the synchronous distance learning. So we, uh, we made not only digital twin of the centers, of the faculties, of the rooms, of the departments, even the teacher room, the teacher set, but we made a synchronous at about the agenda and the hourly distribution of the lecturers. So there were synchronous distant learning and uh, at the same time, at the same day, there were the synchronous 
face-to-face -face learning during the non-confinement. Okay. I think this was a, one of the best ideas because uh, students liked a lot. They say, we prefer this because I have my schedule, I have my hourly distribution, I, instead of go to the faculty, I go to my computer in my home and dedicate the same time that in the faculty. And uh, for them, that was a very good idea to replicate exactly the early distribution, the timing and the classes, which means that teachers should be at the same time, at the same class, at the same day. And uh, I think uh, at the end of the period of confinement, we are quite uh, comfortable with this way of online teaching, but it not is the only way. We can use the asynchronous distance learning if we want to record or send a, a PDF and uh, after receive the feedback from the students. Next, please. I think it's a very good important tip to resolve uh, thinking about the next year. Okay. Uh, well, the digital twin. Uh, at the end of the digital twin, digital twin is a replication of, uh, I'll say, the definition of a living or non living physical entity. Well, uh, for example, aircraft, uh, buildings, locomotives, or anything of the, the idea uh, of the digital twin for us was the student and the teacher must be as normal as usual. The only difference was that the teacher, instead of go to the faculty, the student, instead of go to the faculty, they go to his home, to his computer, but inside the computer, they went to the same room, the same faculty, the same time, and the same day. And more or less, uh, life class. Okay, next please. I, I, I don't know if you understand me, uh, the idea. Okay. Well, uh, of course, it, it, was not, it was not immediate. It was not uh, very fast. The first, uh, period, the first week we uh, tried the video, the video system, the BBB. It was very easy because it's docker is able, it's virtually able, and we only made the hosting, the uh, rent a hosting, a massive hosting, only the virtual machines and the virtual machines, we created as many BBB rooms as we need. Today a day, the figure confirmed by uh, Vicente Teltec is the number of rooms we have installed in virtual machines is 4,500 rooms, 4,500 4, individual rooms. All of them virtualized, backed, and uh, docker cycles. And were made by replica, not by installing one-on-one. -on -one. We made a virtual machine, a docker virtual machine, and we replicate as many as we need it using only the hosting system of virtual machines. Well, uh, the second was the uh, recording. First, the recording through the Zoom uh, and a disk, a storage system. But next, we, due to the teacher needed to use Pumokit as a distribution system, uh, we work on connecting the BBB, the BBB, Big Blue Button video conferencing system to the Pumokit. That was a work of Vicente Gojanes and his crew and uh, take about two, three weeks. Okay. The third work to make a portal, a portal, uh, we, we will see now the, the, the interface, to make a interface uh, to manage all the rooms. There are in, in, in 4,500 rooms to using searchers, using distribution by center, using any kind of uh, management. Uh, we made a new portal. Campo Remoto is a new portal. Um, 
the fourth was they use the same uh, Ubigo identity through uh, CBLF work with the portal of Campus Remoto. That takes another uh, two weeks. And the fifth and the sixth and so on uh, were the implementation of the massive. We began uh, in the first month, we have, I think, 500 rooms, and now we have uh, near 5,000, 400, 4,500. Okay. Um, at the same time, all the rules were um, implemented with an open cloud storage system and a Moodle, personal Moodle for its teachers, not, not uh, the rooms replicating the classrooms, but the, moon, the rooms replicating the, the teacher set, yes, uh, was uh, able to use its own model, uh, his, uh, their own model and their open cloud storage system in order to prepare the evaluation uh, of the matters. Next, please. Well, this is the, the appearance of the portal. Now we have the, the portal, uh, as you can see, uh, top right, uh, we have now implemented the uh, university identity access and uh, the blue button means uh, access to the live rooms. And we have today a day in, in, on the right, the rectorado, the, the administrative rooms in order to talk with clients, uh, with talk with suppliers, talk with the father, mother, and other consultants and is linked with the fighting, as you can see. But the principal uh, tax force of the Campo Remoto is the Aulas en Directo, live rooms. Next, please. When you access to the Campo Remoto, you can find, for example, in this case is the administrative rooms. Uh, I know how much are uh, today, but uh, when I took that the picture, there were the vice, vice chancellor's rooms, the gerency, the manager, and even the, the team's uh, rooms for, for example, the staff uh, reunions. Okay, next please. But the, the important rooms are this. These are the three campuses. The rooms were divided in, the, in three campuses. So when students go to its own campus, Vigo, Pontevedra, or Ourense, and uh, in the campus, you can see the faculties. Next, please. You can see a Zoom. A Zoom uh, is the rooms by campus. Uh, the, the right is the Vigo campus, the biggest campus. And uh, there are faculties, engineering schools, the hospital uh, facilities. Uh, so have the its own uh, rooms to connect to the hospitals um, managing the COVID. Uh, and uh, the new feature is the nine nine three teachers room, which was the big number of teaching rooms. So the, the lingual uh, language center and another kind of uh, services and unities. Please, next. In our case, the, uh, please, be, before, I'm sorry. Can you go back one, one okay. Uh, as you can see, the industrial engineering school, which is mine, have two buildings. One is in the big old city and Another is in the campus. That means the each student uh, got into the uh, right center. If a student uh, received the classes in the campus, they go to the engineering school on campus. Okay, next, please. 
As you can see, there are a lot of rooms, a lot of laboratories and seminaries and tutoring and what? Well, a lot of things. The same rules as the real physical center. This is the digital twin of the Industrial Engineering School Center. Next, please. And this is the case of the uh, teacher's room. Each center has its own teacher's room. In my case, my room is the 2353 and uh, of course, there are a lot of teachers and uh, the students need a, a search facility or search tool to find its own uh, teacher. Please, next. Uh, this is the, how we get into the, the rooms, the teaching rooms. Uh, so from here to inside is like uh, Zoom, but the teaching can be in two ways. Uh, as teacher and, and controls everything, I, I, I want to say that one of the most uh, useful things that have BBB and not, for example, had Zoom, is that the video and the chat among users, for example, among students or between students, is controlled by the presenter. So if I have a students chatting each other, or I have a students sending videos each other, I can cut it. But you cannot do this, for example, in Zoom. You cannot control the conversations uh, between uh, users. For us, it was a, a, very good, a very important thing because, uh, of course, if you put uh, a few students uh, chatting uh, between them, it should be impossible to give a lecture in, in, in adequate conditions. Okay, so you can access as a teacher or you can access as a student. A student had two ways, accredited, I feel, um, um, registered user or anonymous. Anonymous is because some teachers need this same room to talk with uh, enterprises or talk with uh, some people that is not accredited or has not an identity in the University of Vigo, you know, and you uh, disable the accreditation signing and can uh, give access to any other people in any other place. Next, please. And this is what I found when I get into the my my personal room. The, as you can see, I have a storage disk, Buzon de Archivos, uh, left, uh, upper left, is a kind of raw box uh, based on the open, open cloud, uh, also open source and free. Uh, I have my own personal Moodle, which is replicated with the Moodle of Phytic. Yeah. Now we are working on the automatic backup uh, between the personal model of the teacher and the, uh, the model, official model of FITIC, and uh, have a by video conferencing and have a um, Okay, next please. Uh, okay, uh, so we we could uh, finish uh, in a quite good manner uh, the the semester. Uh, the major problem at the end of the semester was the um, the uh, exams, the uh, evaluation of students because of. Uh, we have a, with our Moodle or with our video conference system of our classroom, we have not a very, a very good way to know if the student who is watching us there is the right student as to make the evaluation. Uh, so the guarantee, the identity 
which, by the way, is one of the biggest problems of online uh, teaching. The online teaching, one of the biggest problems is the grading. So we are not prepared, we are not ready to evaluate only for grading, regular grading, but in the Spanish university, most of people uses the exams and the exams uh, are not uh, please, uh, well, 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 like one moment, please, uh, Professor Rancho. Hatim, Hatim. Oui, vous êtes, Mac. On a un problème de partage d'écran. Ma page qui est bien. Là, quand je vois quelque chose, là. Hé, c'est là où les attendent, non Attends. Là, tout à l'heure. Maintenant, c'est bon. Je vais aller à la salle. Before, before. Voilà. Okay. Là, où les can. Ah, to finish. Um, the. This was a good experience, uh, very good service, and mo some of uh, Spanish university uh, copied uh, this uh, solution. The solution, or at least the idea of replicate the, the rooms, replicate the, the idea of the digital tree. I think it, it was a good idea, and students were very uh, satisfied with the experience of uh, is keep the Has same hourly the... distribution, the same um, rooms, the same faculties, and the same uh, as when we was not confined. But uh, all is 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 it all a case of success? No. The problem is the um, we don't know which is going to be the next semester, the next uh, academic course, because uh, we have no very, um, uh, very good forecast from the staff or the Spanish government. Uh, we, have, uh, we are working now with that probabilities uh, for the next semester. 60-80% uh, of probabilities that being face-to-face, -face, which means we should not be a problem. 20 to 30% of a mixed face-to-face uh, -face and online teaching. Uh, uh, supposing uh, there, will, there will be an outbreak as the health organization says. If there it will be an outbreak, probably a virus outbreak, we should mix face-to-face uh, -face and uh, online. And uh, less than 10% online. Uh, so what are we doing? We are we doing uh, now is uh, taking physical measurement, for example, Installing screens, installing, uh, keep the safety distance, uh, measuring the, the rooms, eliminating chairs, uh, increasing the distance between the studying students' uh, sets, and so on. Uh, and we are now mm, implementing. Uh, cameras and uh, electronic boards in order to next uh, semester, if some students uh, had to be uh, confinated, they can follow the classes online and online and sequentially uh, uh, from home. But the idea is the teacher will be in the room, in the physical room. Uh, meaning, this is a kind of mixed uh, teaching. The teacher is in the room, we have cameras uh, sending the streaming to the student have not the, the, the possibility to go physically to the room. And that means uh, that requires uh, important infrastructure uh, reinforcement. Uh, that's what we are working on. 
uh, we cannot give more information, but if you, any, you are interested on where, where, how are we uh, progressing in this item, you can send me an email, whatever you want, and we'll keep you informed about this. Uh, one only thing, a figure, uh, 4,500 uh, rooms should, uh, people uh, should think is a, a lot of money. Well, uh, for your information, I can say that uh, the hosting of that uh, 4,500 rooms uh, using our model, our model means we virtualize the machines, we dockerize the software, we create virtual machines and only rent the hosting, the hosting in a great uh, European hoster. That uh, the, the price was 12,000 euros a month. 12,000 euros a month. Uh, for us, is not a very, 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 very unaffordable figure. And that's all. If you want a question, you want to make a question or anything, or need more information, or can send me an email, or keep any conversation, or I'm open to your suggestions as a well. vote. Thank you. <laughs> Professor Ancho, sorry, yeah. Professor Corral. Professor Ancho, in the chat, we had some participants asking for more information regarding the title of the conference, El Gemelo, eh, digital, el gemelo Virtual, El Gemelo Digital. Um, uh, pardon, uh, Eva. Uh, Thank you, Professor Adjo, for your interesting uh, sharing. Uh, pardon, Eva, uh, je te remercie également, Eva, pour, uh, uh, pour uh, l'aide que tu nous donnes dans cet exposé. Uh, avant de, donner, de passer aux questions, j'aimerais quand même faire une petite récapitulatif de ce qu'il a, qu a dit le Professeur Adjo. Ce n'est pas une question de langue. Je sais que tous mes collègues comprennent très, très bien l'anglais. Ce n'est pas ça le problème. Mais c'est juste pour expliquer des aspects, euh, des aspects plus ou moins techniques et faire un petit résumé de ce qu'il nous a présenté. Donc, euh, je vais commencer par le Digital Twin. C'est la question qu'il va voler, voler poser à, à, au professeur Adjo. C'est un terme de l'industrie 4.0. Et je sais, je fais un clin d'œil à mes collègues qui sont des spécialistes dans le domaine. Ils connaissent ça et tout à l'heure, Adjo va expliquer pourquoi il a fait ce choix de, 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 de titre de, de son exposé. Alors, ce qui vient de nous exposer le professeur Adjo, c'est leur façon de, de faire face à la crise sanitaire COVID-19. Alors, l'université de Vigo, c'est une université qui est très, très bien équipée. C'est une université moderne. Néanmoins, ils ont rencontré des difficultés concernant le, le, la, le étant donné que plusieurs, plusieurs étudiants ils étaient connectés en même temps, etc., etc. Donc des problèmes de bande passante. Et euh, ils ont opté pour des solutions qui sont open source. Donc euh, comme vous, vous voyez en ce moment, nous on utilise Zoom. Zoom c'est payant, c'est euh, des licences qui sont très chères. Eux, ils travaillaient avant avec Adobe Connect. Mais comme il nous a expliqué, il voulait euh, euh, augmenter les licences, alors ça coûte, je pense, 10 000, 10 000 euros par mois. Donc, ils ont opté pour une solution qui s'appelle BBB, Blue Big Button. Et là, je, je pense que nos collègues de, de l'Université de Casa, ils utilisent la même solution. Et euh, ils ont fait appel à une, une entreprise marocaine qui, qui a installé cette solution. Bien sûr, cette solution, il demande des serveurs très, très performants, surtout que l'université de professeur euh, euh, Ancho, ils ont opté pour euh, travailler de la même manière. C'est-à-dire, c'est la raison pour laquelle, mais bien sûr, tout à l'heure, il va vous expliquer un tout petit peu plus, il parle de jumeaux. C'est-à-dire que les, les étudiants, ils ont les mêmes classes, les mêmes horaires, les mêmes professeurs. Et il nous a expliqué également dans sa présentation qu'il a travaillé avec Moodle. Donc, chaque professeur, il a son propre modèle. Et euh, avant, il nous a parlé de, de l'installation qu'ils ont euh, au sein de leur université. 
Et cette installation, c'est un réseau avec un studio performant. Et ils ont une, une, une start-up euh, qui est euh, de, de Télétech, c'est ça, Télétech de l'Université de Vigo, qui a développé des solutions de, de, solutions de, 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 de captation de vidéos, des solutions low cost. Et euh, je pense que j'ai tout résumé. Donc, euh, je cède la parole à Eva s'il veut euh, animer les, la séance questions-réponses. Donc, on va, pour, dans un premier temps, euh, lire quelques questions à M. Ancho, euh, Ancho, oui. Et après, on préfère donner la parole à la salle, les, les, les collègues qui sont, qui sont dans la salle. Et euh, pour les collègues, vous pouvez poser votre question en français, en anglais ou éventuellement en espagnol. Et merci, excuse-moi, Eva, tout à l'heure, je t'ai interrompu. On va ouvrir alors la séance à nos participants pour leurs questions. Nous sommes prêts à les répondre. Eva, il y a une question quelles sont les caractéristiques optimales pour installer correctement le serveur BBB Professeur Ange. Oui. Eh, quel est, nous avons demandé à nos participants quelles sont les eh, conditions optimales pour installer un serveur BBB. Ça, je devrais vous demander. Si vous voulez, je vous le demande. Je vous le demande. Je ne le sais pas de mémoire parce que le hosting. Eh, eh, o sea, se, se pide todo. Entonces, o sea, no se pide una máquina, tú pagas por todo el conjunto. O sea, no, no es lo mismo comprar una máquina que 10, que 50, que 500. Son distintos precios. Different prices. Uh, prices are scalable. And depends on the round, the number of processors, depends on uh, many things. If you want the, the specific data, and can make uh, a short uh, description. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know, in, in, I, I don't know, <laughs> I can improvise what are the, now the, the requisites, the, the requirements. Um, Dile que la, que la, la puede mirar ahí. Dans notre page du projet Marmouk, vous savez notre donnée, notre email, c'est marmouk.ubigo. Vous pouvez nous écrire, on va vous, vous donner la, la réponse exacte parce que le professeur Ange vient d'informer que ça dépend un peu si on parle d'une machine ou plusieurs machines parce que les prix, c'est un groupe, c'est un lot. Mm -hmm. D'accord. Est-ce euh, que tu peux écrire l'email le, sur le chat, Yves, s'il te plaît mm -hmm. euh, Professeur Ancho, une question. Why this? Uh, why digital twin? Why you speak uh, about digital twin? It's uh, and, uh, industry for, uh, for. Why why you speak about uh, why digital twin? Uh, digital twin is a, a term which is quite used in in industry 4.0. 4.0 industry. One of the terms is to try to create your digital team to your enterprise. And when we break the term to another fix, for example, uh, in our case, our rooms, in our faculty rooms. Digital twin of your faculty rooms is the same room, the same team, the same oral distribution, and the same students that in the physical team. This is the idea of the digital team. Digital team is a very wide term. You have the definition on the, on the slides and you have uh, I, I think it was born uh, talking about the industry 4.0, the mm -hmm. machine learning and so on, terms related. On a une autre question, Professor Ancho, Madame Samira Bounit, elle nous demande, elle nous pregunta con el uso de todas estas herramientas informáticas a partir de servidores que se sitúan en países distintos, cada uno con su propia legislación y práctica, ¿cómo podemos enmarcar estos desarrollos teniendo en cuenta eh, esta situación de diferentes países y diferente legislación? 
uh, all the countries have uh, hosting systems or uh, even you have you can hold your hosted system if you want to buy the servers you make uh, your own cloud you don't have no problem you can rent or you can own your own cloud we opted by the renting option because it's much cheaper and we do need to uh, to we need no more personal not in the normal situation je peux compléter si vous voulez normalement dans le cas du maroc dans pratiquement chaque université on a nos no, no propres no, no, notre propre centre donc c'est là où on héberge les solutions et justement tout à l'heure la question les vidéos gratuits dans les universités marocaines on est installé on a un réseau qui est un réseau marwan donc ce réseau il est gratuit donc si on arrive à installer nos serveurs et à installer les vidéos au lieu de les installer sur YouTube, les étudiants ils peuvent se connecter gratuitement. La même chose pour la solution qui nous a présenté le professeur Ancho, le BBB, si on arrive à, à l'installer dans nos universités, dans nos serveurs, donc on va pouvoir faire du, euh, du, 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 des cours synchrones sans passer par, euh, par, euh, par l'étranger. Voilà, merci. Et... Une autre question qui, qui se pose intéressante, Madame Monsieur Ahmed Revani nous demande est-ce que votre plateforme est installée en local ou hébergée sur les clouds, professeur Ancho Si notre plateforme est installée de forme locale ou la tenemos alojada en la nube Alojada en un hosting macro-européen. Mm -hmm. Hosted en un macro-hosting. I think it's in Estrasburg. I think it's in Estrasburg. Alors, notre plateforme est hébergée sur un, sur un hosting européen. The cheapest. Basically, it was the cheapest. Pardon. Ils veulent intervenir s'il y a des gens directement. Mm -hmm. Hatim Hatim Sur Clavemac, est-ce qu'on dit mieux oui. Euh, euh, on regarde, on euh, chauffe les gens qui veulent intervenir. Euh, oui, bien sûr. Donc, on a Madame euh, Nora. Alors, Madame Nora, si vous voulez activer votre micro. Madame Nora Louda. Je pense, oui. Madame. Salam alaikum. Oui, salam, madame. Euh, madame, euh, merci beaucoup. Euh, tout d'abord, je tiens de remercier euh, tous euh, les intervenants, euh, que ce soit d'abord Madame Eva, euh, bien sûr euh, l'intervenant principal Monsieur Akcho, mais également euh, Monsieur Reklawi, Monsieur Hatim et Madame Latefa de Dawi. Euh, les différentes interventions étaient particulièrement intéressantes et également euh, le résumé fait régulièrement. Euh, très pédagogique par M. Reglaou. Alors, ma question euh, est la suivante. Euh, je, je la dirai en français. J'ai deux questions. Euh, la première question, est, elle est par rapport au panorama d'ensemble qui a été euh, euh, montré sous la forme d'un schéma, enfin d'un résumé, les trois campus, les, 23, les, 20, les 29 facultés, les 47 départements. Et ce qui a euh, interpellé mon attention, c'est que euh, vous avez montré le nombre très élevé d'étudiants, c'est-à-dire vous avez dit, vous avez noté 22 000 euh, étudiants euh, et euh, il y a 19 000 diplômés. Alors ça, ça m'a particulièrement intéressé. Pourquoi Parce que très souvent dans les statistiques, on constate qu'il y a un taux de déperdition élevé. Ça veut dire quoi Les taux d'abandon, eh ben, les, les, les étudiants, ils ne vont pas jusqu'à la fin de leur cursus, ils n'obtiennent pas leur diplôme, particulièrement dans les universités. Alors là, ce que vous nous proposez, tant à démontrer que justement, ce taux de déperdition, d'abandon, hein, ce qu'on dit en anglais « dropping out », eh bien, on ne l'a plus vraiment. Alors, est-ce une solution C'est ma question, ma première question. Est-ce une solution à, je dirais, euh, euh, au taux de, de déperdition, à l'abandon et à la fidélisation de nos étudiants qui finalement amène à euh, euh, la, la diplomation dans un environnement évidemment très qualitatif 
Donc, c'est ma première question. Et puis, euh, ma deuxième question qui, euh, porte cette fois-ci sur, effectivement, l'infrastructure. On peut constater que euh, vous êtes passé, effectivement, euh, de ce qui est proposé en open source. Hein, les différentes étapes m'ont particulièrement intéressé. Donc, euh, vous êtes passé de l'open source à une identité propre université. D'accord Et vous avez votre co propre connexion avec FETIC Moodle, si j'ai bien compris. Vous avez votre propre Open Cloud avec UVO, UVGO Storage Connection. Et euh, vous proposez un concept qui est, euh, et vous ne l'avez pas dit, mais je pense que certains éléments vous, vous laissent le dire, que c'est relativement gratuit et accessible à tous. Donc ça, c'est un élément important. Et justement, ça amène à ma question est-ce que vous pensez aujourd'hui que le Gemini University, ou appelez-le comme vous voulez, ou euh, le Twin University, euh, en tout cas Digital University, euh, c'est, euh, je dirais, un, une orientation qui va permettre finalement d'en donner plus d'égalité entre les personnes, qu'on soit handicapé, qu'on soit à la campagne, ou, ou, ou que vous vouliez, ou qu'on ait des difficultés à aller dans un site universitaire pour différentes raisons. En tout cas, est-ce une manière d'apporter plus d'égalité et bien sûr de justice sociale Voilà quelles sont mes deux questions et merci euh, pour euh, vos réponses. Et, bon, y a un bref résumé. Eh, bon, merci beaucoup, madame. Eh, eh, je vais traduire à notre professeur Ancho. Eh, professeur Ancho, nous avons eu deux questions de cette participante. La première d'elles est en relation à la taxe d'abandon. No? Nosotros hemos indicado las cifras de nuestra universidad, el número de alumnos inscritos, matriculados y la pregunta de nuestra participante es en relación a si la, este nuevo sistema de e-learning o de campus virtual puede contribuir a reducir esas tasas de abandono en la universidad. Y la, bueno, me gustaría, si le parece, responder primero a esta primera cuestión. No, we are not, uh, we are not sure. In, in our case, the, the... The, the attendees were a hundred percent, mainly because uh, students were confined and could not uh, do anything else. And so all the classes, all the students, but we don't know in a normal condition. Did, this was a, not a normal condition. We don't know how it should be in a normal condition where students can go out, can walk, can uh, uh, go to the beach or anything else. We don't know, I, I can answer. In this case, the participation was 100%, but uh, there were not another option. You, uh, you were confined at home, nothing else to do. Professor Kamal, je ne sais pas si vous aimeriez ajouter plus d'informations. Non, non, c'est parfait, c'est parfait. Non, c'est parfait. Est-ce que, est que vous pouvez nous faire un résumé de la deuxième question, s'il vous plaît? Deuxième question, de, 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 Madame Houria, euh, 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 je, je pense, il nous a posé la question, est-ce que l'utilisation de ces nouvelles technologies, il va faciliter l'accès à l'enseignement pour les gens qui sont défavorisés, c'est-à-dire qu'ils ont des... Qu y la segunda cuestión, profesor Ancho, es en relación a si los campus virtuales y el e-learning puede favorecer el acceso a aquellas personas con menos recursos o con discapacidad o desfavorecidas. Need help. They need help. They need computers. They need bandwidth. And in most cases, they are not in the right place. Okay. There is necessary uh, a great investment from governments, in my opinion, in most of countries. Okay, uh, we have also another question from a PhD student called uh, Tarek. He, he's asking, how do you make a digital twin? Why are digital twins important for PhD candidates? Uh, because the, uh, I, th I think the, the, according to the surveys the, from students, 
the best thing of the digital twin, digital means the same classes, the same day, the same place as in the normal life. And as a remember of the normal life, I think it was the good idea uh, in the back of the digital twin. They felt uh, like they were to the normal classes, a normal day. The only difference was uh, it was in the computer instead of the, the faculty. Okay, thank you so much, Professor. We have also Mr. Nordin Azmi. Mr. Nordin Azmi. Yes, please. Yes, you may have the floor, please. Uh, uh, I just need to mention something at the beginning. So we've gone through the same experience at the Sergio Business School here in Marrakesh, University, uh, University, because of the pandemic lockdown restrictions and uh, at home orders, we've been able to maintain our teaching through the use of our, our school learning management system Moodle. Then we moved on to use other platforms like Zoom and you can, you can by the way, is a, an application which has been created by one of our colleagues. He's a professor of computer science, okay? But I just, uh, I, I insist upon this. We've got to agree upon one thing, that face-to-face -face teaching is the best and can't be substituted unless there is a good reason. My question for uh, Professor Anshu is, when life goes back to normal, Will you always show the same enthusiasm and passion for digital, for using digital twins? Oh. I, I, I say the same thing. I'm not sure in a normal condition, uh, what should be the result? The results were good because the situation was abnormal. Abnormal meaning that we are all at home. For example, we have, um, uh, opinions, service about teachers, not only students. Teacher said, it's very good. I was at home. I was dedicated from morning, afternoon and night uh, to my students. But in a normal condition, you, you must say me how many hours a day I have to be in the front of the computer. It, not, it cannot be a normal situation. A normal situation should be revealed to the online teaching. And I think it's a a pendant matter. We have no resolved the, uh, the teleworking and the, so many things about online learning because we have never thought that we could be online as sudden as we did. Okay. I don't know what should be in normal situation. Well, uh, the Ubigo team, I uh, remercie à tous nos participants pour uh, être aujourd'hui à ces ateliers sur les expériences e-learning. Il, uh, il y a encore une, une question, uh, Eva, si tu permets. Uh, can you speak about uh, the, your startup, uh, Teletech, please, uh, uh, Professor Adjo? This is the question. The, the, the startup. Startup. Teltec. Oh, Teltec is a startup from the University of Vigo when another university has become to ask our uh, all the software uh, developed at the University of Vigo uh, is open source, but some universities that can or want to implement our software more rapidly than uh, uh, they can do by themselves, can use the support of any enterprise. That's why we founded the, or, or Vicente Goyane founded an enterprise to support the implementation, the rapid implementation of uh, open source like Pumukit and Opencast, Matterhorn, Edex, and so on. This is a, He's collaborating with the university. She supports our uh, MOOC, uh, edX, uh, Matterhorn, and recording systems, but at the same time offers services to another university. For example, now we have climbed by at least 25 universities in Spain for making budget to implement the Campus Remoto. Uh, this is the commercial side of the startup. 
but this is a, an empress, not the university of Vigo. The university of Vigo, what uh, should be the question? What resides the university of Vigo in change? In change, all the support of the Teltec enterprise is free. Yes, we still have one last question from Mr. Jamal Barada, I think, Barad, Monsieur Jamal. Uh, oui, bonjour, Hatim, bonjour, toute l'équipe. Oui, Alors, c'est Jamal Barad de la Faculté des sciences économiques, juridiques et sociales de Tétouan. Uh, primero, quería dar las gracias a señor Ancho y a, a Donia Eba, y a, a, a todo el equipo. Well, I, I will ask you a question, and I have a, a couple of questions, short questions. The first one is about the assessment. Uh, Professor Ancho, you talked about the assessment, but I, I would like to have a bit more details, especially about how you can certify that uh, the student is the one who is answering, whether you are right, you have in some written exams or oral exams. And second uh, short question is about how you organize the teams especially the collaboration between the teachers and the technicians. Yes, muchas gracias. The, the, the first question, Jamal, thank you very much for your question. The first question, I prefer to send me an email because this is the very difficult question because they have a lot of problems because it's very complicated and have a lot of forums. And I can send you the, the forum, the address and the results if you claim me by email because uh, I should... Uh, uh, last a lot of time talking about it is very difficult. The worst thing is the assessment, of course, the, because we are not prepared. We are a face-to-face -face university and we are not prepared to online evaluation. Uh, and the second question was uh, about... It, it, it's, it was about, um, a, a, a propósito de la coordinación de, entre tec ah, técnicos. We, we have, we have uh, coordinators. All the matters in uh, according to the European... Uh, quality model, all the matters has a coordinator and all the courses has a coordinator. The coordinator keep, kept coordinating the matters. The, 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 it was not a problem because there exist coordinators. Vale, much, muchas gracias. Gracias. Eh, envíame un correo, Jamal, que te, te explique un poco todas las toda la cantidad de cosas que pensamos sobre la evaluación. Muy, muy bien. ¿Y, ¿Y cómo se puede obtener su correo? Por Está favor? ahí en, la, en el slideshow. O si no, so, oh, a Sánchez. Es el primero de un email y le el chat. Para que tal vez Eva y la done el email. De acuerdo. Para que lo haga. Gracias. Gracias. Sí, Eva. Merci. Merci à tous et, et à la prochaine. Euh, merci, Iva. On espère te revoir physiquement la prochaine fois après cette oui, crise. Ma... Euh, euh, bonjour, Iva. Et euh, euh, muchas gracias, euh, oui. professeur euh, Ancho. Euh, je voudrais dire que le professeur Ancho, c'est un ami du Maroc et également il va. Euh, il travaille sur beaucoup de projets avec les universités marocaines. Ils ont visité le Maroc à plusieurs reprises. Donc, euh, on est très, très content de les accueillir aujourd'hui. Voilà, donc euh, sur ce, je pense qu'on va clôturer euh, euh, cet atelier. Et j'espère vous revoir cet après-midi à partir de 15h30. Et là, on va parler des... Non, pas 14h30, 14h30. Ah, pas, 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 pas. 14h30. 14h30, c'est GMT. La TFA, c'est GMT. Donc, 14h30, hors marocaine. Et euh, on va parler des travaux dirigés simulés et des travaux dirigés distants. C'est dans le cadre du projet Erasmus Plus Experes. Et merci... Euh, et j'espère que vous avez appris des choses. Et comme je l'ai dit, euh, c'est vrai, c'est un exposé très, très technique, plein de mots techniques. Néanmoins, nous, en tant que professeurs, on est obligé d'être des généralistes, pas des spécialistes. Et merci pour votre attention. La TFA. Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. L'évaluation. L'évaluation, Hatim.
si tu pouvais renvoyer le... Euh, oui, en fait, on a envoyé les, les liens de l'évaluation, mais aussi dès que les gens ils vont quitter Zoom, ils vont être redirigés automatiquement vers le lien de l'évaluation. Voilà. C'est parfait. Donc, c'est 14h30, 14h30. Il y a quelqu'un qui pose la question. Donc, merci beaucoup. Merci, désolé, ma connexion n'était pas au top. N'oublie pas le chat. Euh, euh, <rire> <rire>